Hello, welcome to the scratch challenge. We are going to be looking at the phases of a flight. So taxiing refers to the movement of an aircraft on the ground using its own power, where it moves on wheels. The next is takeoff. It is the phase of flight in which an aircraft goes through a transition from taxiing to flying in the air. Usually the engines are run at full power during takeoff. Cruise is when following takeoff, the aircraft has to climb to a certain altitude before it can cruise at this altitude in a safe and economic way. There's an optimum cruise altitude for conditions including payload, weight, center of gravity, air temperature, humidity, and speeds. And then when we start to approach our destination, there is a descent phase where an aircraft decreases altitude and finally landing last part of the flight where the aircraft returns to the ground by slowing down and descending to the runway. And this is where I often get butterflies in my stomach. So if you're wondering why we are talking about phases of taxiing is because, because this is what we want you to build in today's challenge. The whole end-to-end -end cycle only if you are pro scratchers and you've been doing a lot of coding. So just go ahead and remix the project link which we have given in the comment and the description under this video. You can you know, make it as interesting as you would like. Now let us look at how to do this. So we have the PP aeroplane sprite and a sprite can have one or multiple costumes. So in this case, our sprite does have multiple costs. Now the first thing which we want to do is we want to position the aeroplane to be parked somewhere here, bottom right hand side. Now how do we set a position? We can, in this display area of the scratch editor, we can move things around with using our mouse and place it where we want. Once we position it, you will see that there is next to the sprite name, there's a place where it shows the X and Y coordinates. So basically, the scratch display area uses X and Y coordinates for placement. Now, if you are in a class where you still haven't started to learn that aspect of mathematics, it is okay. Yeah? You will slowly start to become comfortable with it. We have uh, put a link to the tutorial, which you can go and see to just understand a little bit or maybe enough to do this. Now this X and Y position is used to do everything on positioning. And everything related to a position and movement of the blocks of the sprites in Scratch is under the motion blocks. Now under the motion blocks, today the focus is the glide. Can you see this? So the dictionary meaning of glide is move with a smooth, quiet, continuous motion. And this is what our glide here also tries to simulate. Now there, there are a few important components of using the glide block. Let's look at what are they. The first one is where is the starting position? Now this is something which you have to set before using the glide block. And how you can do it? You can do it using the go to xy block. So if you look at it, the go to xy block right now has x as 240 and y as minus 143. So it is the same coordinate which is right now positioned on the screen. So initially you set this to say this is where you are before you are ready to glide. And once you're ready to glide, you have to use the glide block. Now to use the glide block, you have to have a few things available. What are they? For how long you want to glide. So that is how many seconds. So by default, you can see it is glide one seconds. Now if you make it glide two seconds, it means it's going to cover the same distance, but more slow because it's going to take two seconds. Now, if you make it five seconds, it's going to go even slower. Now, if we are from position of where we are right now, this and this position, X and Y, same, then there's nothing for it to glide to, right? You'll see that there's 
nothing happening here so you need to say where it has to glide to so this x and y is the two position where we have to glide now say we want to glide this plane from here till here so we place using mouse pointer we first place the aeroplane here and you can see now the x and y positions have changed now once you understand the coordinate geometry you will see that the y position will stay the same right it's nearly the same here you can have it exactly the same and the y position is going to be same and the x position this is center is the zero points and it's going to become minus here so it is minus 159 here so if i look at the blocks here the uh, real cool thing about scratch is that this actually picks up the moving position here so if i change this position say here you will see this position is picked up so it really reduces your typing work so if i want to glide it till here i put it here and then i grab this block and put it here and i want to say glide for five seconds now if i want to check what this code block is doing i click on this so basically what it does started from here and it's gliding five seconds to reach this position you have your first part clear now there's just one more thing i would show you and then i will leave it to you to do as much of taxiing around and take off and flying as you wish to explore in scratch so what is that one thing which i want you to also show you is that once you want it to glide up here right so suppose we wanted to glide all the way till here so i will grab i will move it there first and then i will say glide five seconds and then it has to go there but we know that the flight is not going to glide like this it is going to turn and it's going to glide in a different position and that is where what comes into picture is this set of blocks looks how does your sprite look is under the look block so switch costume so initially we wanted to show this so we set switch costume to aeroplane ground two first we set the costume and then we do rest everything else and before we are gliding it here we want to use a costume which is facing this side so aeroplane back so i'm going to grab black put it here and then do this now looks let us relook at this coat okay so we've not got a good position fix for it because once it turns it's not doing it exactly where we want so before after it switches costume right after it switches costume we will position it where we want so we want it to be placed here so what we will do we will position at the right place and grab go to and then we will put all this together so now we are checking that it's going to turn and it's going to go till where we want it to and we fix all this code against when green flag clicked so that all this happens on this event so let's write down what are the three parameters where is the starting position how long you want to glide and the position where you want it to glide to so go ahead do your code remix this project share it with us so we hope that you're enjoying doing these challenges you can definitely uh, leave some ideas which you would want to see in the upcoming days and week have fun tada